What's going on guys, Mike Ironboard here. Today we're gonna be going over our lead elbow. Great guys, so about the elbows. Elbows can be used to cut open your opponent or it can be used to knock them out. So if you hit here on this part, then it's gonna be mostly a knockout. But what you wanna be doing is aiming here on this piece of bone right here and then you will open a cut. How do we do that? We are gonna put our palm facing out. So when I put my palm facing out, it makes my elbow pointier. If I do this, it's flat. If I do this, then my elbow's gonna be pointier. One hand is gonna be stuck on our forehead, covering our forehead, temple, chin, and ribs. Because if I can elbow my opponent, my, el my opponent can also elbow me. Now from here, elbow to the chest, right? Palm facing out, and then I turn that torso. I turn that torso. Keeping the head between my legs for a balance here. So from my fighting stance, I go palm to the chest, right? And then I turn the torso. A little secret about the lead elbow. What you wanna be doing is actually pivoting the back foot. So when I do my lead elbow, I pivot my back foot. As you notice, I'm pivoting my back foot or I'm lifting up my heel pretty much. And then the momentum kind of just pivots my back foot. If I keep it flat, then what I'm creating is friction on the ground and it makes it hard for me to turn. It makes it hard for me to turn. But if I pick up my heel a little bit, then it makes it easy for me to turn my waist, to turn my, my torso, and then throw that elbow. This is called a horizontal elbow. So from here, hand to the chest, and then I turn just like this. My foot is going to be just like this with my heel up. All right. So how does it look like on the back? When I'm on the back, again, if I hit with the flat part here, then I'm looking for a knockout, all right? I'm looking for that knockout. If I want to cut, right, I want to hit right with this piece of bone right here. I want to hit with that piece of bone, and then I go right through. For both of them, I'm going right, right through. But here, cut, here, knockout, all right? So again, from here, cut. Here, knockout. Good? It just depends on the spot that you hit with on your elbow. Now, for the footwork, it's kind of just like your jab. So, we have many weapons in Muay Thai. Many weapons. We have our hands, we have our elbows, we have our knees, and we have our kicks. Each weapon has a different length. Our legs are long range, our kicks are the longest range, then our knees, then our hands, then our elbows. They can all be very deadly. However, in Muay Thai, it's known for its elbows because they're very, very deadly and you can easily open a cut. The elbows are very close range, very close range weapon. So what I want to do is when I'm here, I step forward just like I'm doing that jab, but I'm really close in that range. So I'm almost on my target, almost on my opponent, and then I cut right through, okay? So this is elbow, elbow, distance compared to jab or punch distance okay so I don't want to just go here I want to go right here I want to go in nice and close close combat to throw that elbow good so those are the dynamics of the lead elbow let's recap so I want to go from here for my fighting stance our lead arm is going to be using our torso all right hand palm to our chest making this nice and pointy turning the torso, other hand is gonna be stuck on our forehead, covering our forehead, chin, and rib. And then our foot is gonna go up just slightly so we don't create that friction. And then we twist. We twist, good. A lot of times what we tend to do also is that we wanna reach and then elbow, all right? You kinda just wanna go from here, go right to your chest, and elbow so that creates less movements and it creates more efficiency great guys so those are the dynamics of the lead elbow stay tuned for more tips and training advices